Today on Horseland, fashions Chloe thinks are simply to die for turn out to be far more dangerous than she ever imagined. You don't know anything about the sacrifices one makes for fashion. Not in these clothes. It's too dangerous. Ah! Teeny, where are you going in such a hurry? Truffles, truffles. Must have truffles. Oh, I smell truffles. Should I warn Teeny about that giant mud puddle she's about to fall into? Oh, oh where are those yummy Tina, truffles? Watch out! Ah! Teeny, are you all right? Angora, why didn't you tell Teeny about that puddle? Teeny could have been hurt. It's not my fault Teeny was blinded by hunger. You know how much Teeny hates getting dirty. Okay, I should have warned you. But it sure was fun to watch. Much better. Now, about those troubles. Oh. Hey, guys, what's up? Hey, Molly, what's up with you? Check out that shirt. Que linda, very nice. Thanks. I made it last night. I used extra stretchy fabric inserts so I can move better when I'm riding. It's really cool. I didn't know you could sew. Yeah, I sew stuff for school a lot. Guess you could call it my hobby. Who do you suppose that is? Nobody we know. They're stopping by the house. Let's go see. Hmm, so this is horse land. Nice. Very nice. Could be better. Hmm. Almost, but not quite. That's more like it. Let's see now. Something is missing. That's it! I am the missing ingredient and flavor of the month here at Horseland! Now, Smith Smythe, let's rock their horsey world! It is him! It's who? It figures you wouldn't know. Why do we even bother with such an uncultured bunch of... Zoe, why don't you pretend you've insulted us already and just tell us who that guy is? That so-called guy is only like the coolest, hottest, most cutting-edge fashion designer. On the whole planet! Smythe! Smythe! Smith, Smith, Smith. Smith. Okay, but what's he doing here? Smythe is talking to Bailey's parents about a photo shoot. Here at Horseland? I think I'm gonna faint. Did you hear that? He's got a hot new line of dressage wear. Is this for real? I know! Pinch me! <laughs> I wonder what Zoe and Chloe are finding out. What's going on? The girls haven't been this excited in ages. It's all about that Smythe guy. The one with the messed up mane. Shep, did you catch any news? Yep. Listened outside the window. Smythe's Miss Smythe and Bailey's parents are talking about a big photo shoot. Probably starring me. What about me? I'm a cute thing. Wait till you hear this. Smythe's been scouting locations for his next photo session to show off his new cutting-edge dressage wear line for BGQ. That's bridles and grooming quarterly, for those of you who are fashion impaired. Which is like, all of you? Anyway, he's chosen Horseland for the shoot. He's coming over here. I love it. It's so, so, what's that word I'm thinking of? Real. It's so real. Fabuloso, people, fabuloso. Ooh. Nice horsey. He doesn't know a thing about horses. What's he doing designing dressage wear? Mr. Smith Smythe, it's such an honor to meet you. 
I see you're wearing my faux peacock chandelier earrings from my latest spring collection. They suit you well. I treasure them. I have two pairs, Smythe. Would you mind telling us what your concept is for the shoot? The concept is simple. Brilliant, but simple. It's a postmodern, retro chic function follows form examination of the socio political environmental impact of. Socio political environmental impact of what? Of what? That's it. That's not even a sentence. What does that have anything to do with clothes? Especially dressage wear. <sighs> do I have to spell it out for you? Civilians. I've named them all. The Smythe Riding Shirt, the Smythe Riding Jacket, the Smythe Riding Pants, the Smythe Riding Helmet, and these are just the basics. Pure genius, Smythe. Yes, I know. Okay, people, let's set up. Daylight doesn't last all day. He expects people to ride in those things? Doesn't Smythe know dressage wear has a long history and tradition? I mean, they're designed a certain way all these years for a reason. So, what do you girls think of this BGQ shoot? Well, have you seen Smythe's clothes? If that's what you'd call them, they're ridiculous. Ridiculoso. Forget how ridiculous they look. They'll be impossible to ride in. Don't worry. You don't think any real rider is going to buy those clothes. Do you? A fashion designer like Smythe doesn't design for the real world, Sarah. Well, how could Bailey's folks have agreed to this? I don't think they saw the clothes. But it is good publicity for Horseland to be featured in Bridals and Grooming Quarterly. I guess Horseland could use the publicity. After all, it's just a fashion spread. How bad can it be? Yeah, about that. Uh, there's something I forgot to mention. I right, you'll do fine. We'll need you people on set in half an hour. Huh? Why do we have to be on set? Smythe would like you girls to model the clothes. You're all going to be in my shoot, in the background shots on your horses, wearing my fabuloso new dressage styles. We'll be the laughing stock of the equestrian community. How will we ever be able to show our faces at a serious competition again? Those clothes looked awfully cumbersome. I can't imagine walking in them, much less riding in them. Thank goodness we don't have to actually ride in them. Will said all we have to do is stand there in the background. Way in the background. I hope. I don't know what's the matter with you girls. Don't you know what a fabuloso opportunity this is? Modeling Smythe's newest line is such an honor. A fabuloso honor? You don't know anything about the sacrifices one makes for fashion. Hey, I know about fashion. See, Molly sews clothes for herself and her friends. Comfortable clothes. Uh, yeah, we can tell. I wish those civilians didn't have to be in the shoot. Yeah, it's not like they're professionals. Like us. You're models? Since when? <laughs> oh, well, we could be, unlike the rest of you. Hey, look, there's Bailey. Let's go fill him in, Chloe. Hey, Bailey. Hey, what's up? Wait till you hear. The most fabuloso thing has happened to me and Zoe. Well, to Horseland, too. I'm afraid we're all going to be in the photo shoot. Sounds absolutely humiliating. At least we won't have to do anything but stand around. Easy for you to say, we saw Smythe sketches. Our writers will look like a bunch of clowns. No, 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 no! This is unacceptable! The lighting is way too yesterday, and I'm not talking retro. What happened to the fabuloso lighting we discussed at the meeting? Not fabuloso, people. Not fabuloso at all. My history of dressage book reminded me. Dressage originated in the military, and the traditional dressage wear dates back hundreds of years. And then along came Smythe. I never thought about designing dressage clothes. But if I did, they wouldn't look like that. Shouldn't we say something? I know we're just going to be standing there in the ring for the shoot, but Smythe intends for equestrian people to wear these clothes for real. Come on, who'd buy them? Couldn't something like this actually be bad publicity for Horseland? Why are they so reluctant to speak up? I think they're afraid that if they express their feelings, they'll cause trouble. I'm 
so bored with this. Maybe trouble is just what we need. Smythe wants everyone on set ASAP. And that means the horses, too. Fabuloso, people! Fabuloso! Now let's get you onto your mounts! <laughs> Okay, who's first? Me! You first, my dear. Be careful, don't drop her. You can get on now. But I can't move. I don't mean to be critical, Smythe. But I can't turn my body. Your new clothes are gorgeous, but they're a little stiff and bulky. Gorgeous is as gorgeous does. Get her on that horse. Excellent, excellent. Now for the rest of the fashion fabulosos. You look great, Zoe. He is so a genius. You look great too, Chloe. You four on my left are awfully quiet. What do you think of your new Smythes? Genius. Masterpieces. Nice. Dude, they're fabu-so-so. Low so They are fabuloso. Where's my cappuccino? I need a cappuccino. Now you've done it. What we should have done is tell the truth. These clothes are impossible. Impossible to sit in. Impossible to move in. Impossible to breathe in. And impossible to see in. Oh well, let's just make the best of it. At least we don't have to ride in them. Okay, people, are you ready? Great! Bring on the models! No, no, no! The composition is all wrong! Scooch a little to the left! No, my left! More! 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 Stop! Too much scooch! Scooch back again! Left! Left! Good, good. Now hold... Come on, people! Can't you make those horses look happy? Cappuccino. Handkerchief. Whisk. I think we might be done. See, cross your fingers. Fabuloso, people. Mwah! Poetry on hooves. Now, let's get those, those, whatchamacallit, set up. It's time to jump. What? Not in these clothes. It's too dangerous. Not gonna happen. Not on my watch. But how could you deny these young people such a fabuloso opportunity? One of them could easily end up on the cover of BGQ. There's no need to get upset, Will. Chloe and I want to jump. We just need to know how high. I'm going to call Bailey's folks. Nobody make a move until I get back, you hear? I don't get it, Champ. Why aren't the other kids speaking out about something this important? A lot of people are afraid to speak up because they think they might be unpopular or they might be wrong, so they stay quiet. Well, that's no fun. Takes away all the drama. Gotta have conflict, you know? Okay, who's going to jump first? We have to say something, and we have to say it now. We should have said it a long time ago. We can't let Chloe and Zoe do this. I'm going to stop them. Can't move right. Age before beauty. Wait a sec. This was your idea. OK, you two. I can see you need an extra added incentive. How's this? Whoever does the first jump will get the cover for sure. Say no more. We've got a winner! Good for you! 
Chloe, no! You can't even move in those clothes, much less jump! Let's go, darling! Chili, this is it, our big chance. Don't be scared, we're going to be famous. Now. What happened? You were thrown. Are you hurt? I can't move. <gasps> no, no, not because I'm injured. Because of these horrible clothes. You can forget the cover, darling. Although, I gotta say, the extra padding kept me from getting hurt. Well, don't just sit there. Help me out of this stupid getup. We'd love to, but we can't get off the horses by ourselves. Hmm. <laughs> I finally reached Bailey's folks. The shoot is off. They can't do that! They said if they had had any idea how dangerous the shoot would be, they never would have agreed to this in the first place. And they said if anyone gets hurt because of Mr. Smith Smythe, he's liable for all damages. Oh, well, I'm so glad you said you weren't hurt. Can I get that in writing? In your dreams, I stubbed my big toe, you know. Will you autograph it? Bailey, your folks wanted to know why no one spoke up and tried to get a hold of them earlier. Came down pretty hard on me about it. Can't really blame them. I should have said something. We all should have, Will. It wasn't just you. Molly's right. I'm sorry, Will. I guess it takes a lot of courage to speak up sometimes. Each of us was wrong not to say anything. Am I right, girls? You're right, Alma. I could have gotten hurt. This is a disaster. BGQ Magazine's expecting my photos today. I'm ruined, I tell you. Ruined! And I tried so hard. Smythe, my friend, I know how we can help you and Horseland. Dear child, how? What can you do? Grab a cappuccino. Meet us in the tack room. You guys, follow me. Scissors. The sashes must go. Too dangerous. They could catch on something and drag the rider off the horse. I never thought of that. Needle. Thread. You're good. Everybody ready? We're off to the races. I sure hope Molly knows what she's doing in there. Of course she does, Chili. Molly's the greatest. You can trust her. I trust her, Calypso. I trust her, Calypso. Well, I don't, and wow. Look at this, people. They look great. Well, Smythe, what do you think? Fabuloso, Molly. I'll even give you a credit in BGQ. Wow! Okay, people, let's boogie! We've got some fashion to shoot! Hate to say it, but you did okay, Molly. Good job. Thanks, Chloe! To be honest, those smikes weren't exactly practical, but yours are. You know what? I still think our old style dressage wear is really the best. You know what this reminds me of? What, Alma? The story about the Emperor's new clothes. How so? Weren't we just as bad as the people who were afraid to tell the Emperor he was riding through town without anything on? You know, you're right. But at least we had on our Smythes. <laughs> Good one, Bailey. You think <laughs> it's so funny. As if. Kibble is too dry, my tuna is too fishy, and just look at this old collar. I'm ashamed to go out in public with it, and no one's upset anymore. I hate it when everyone's happy. And, and Gora, give it a rest. Yes, please. What are you two talking about? 
I'm speaking up. Isn't that what we're supposed to do? That's not speaking up, Angora. That's complaining. There's a difference, you know. No, I don't know. What, pray tell, is this so-called difference? See, complaining... Or whining... ...about something is not the same thing as speaking up and telling the truth when you know something is wrong or dangerous. You know very well what I'm talking about. Hmm. Angora, watch out! Ha, 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 ha. 